it's uh, nobody ever gets to meet a fisherman, a commercial fisherman, and uh, it's it's a treasure for them. My name is Mike Hudson and I'm a commercial salmon troller and I want to welcome you to a, what we used to consider a beautiful sunny day in San Francisco. I'm involved with this uh, program that's called the Fisherman in the Classroom uh, via the Sanctuary and I get to talk with a lot of school kids about what it is that we're doing out there and I find that's very important to do. I know, I can see it, I can see it. Ah. <laughs> I got approached by, uh, by the people from the sanctuary to say, uh, they said, well, we got this program here, Fishermen in the Classroom, would you be interested in, uh, in coming to the schools with us? And I said, that sounds like a good idea, let's, uh, let's give it a try and see what, uh, see what happens. This is Pete Wynn, she's the one who works with the sanctuary, and then this is Mike Hudson. Our... In the classroom? Pete always starts the presentation out with a uh, talk of the sanctuary out here. We're called the Greater Farallon National Marine Sanctuary. There's a lot of things you can't do there to make it protected, but you can fish. He hands it over to me. I tell him a little bit about fishing. After I talk about fishing and about the life cycle of the fish, uh, Pete will talk about the hatcheries. We talk to the kids about how everything in this world is kind of connected, you know, how the salmon are so important for everything that lives inland. We're out there to protect these fish. The sanctuary is out there to protect the fish, the ocean, everything that lives in it. Very important because we want to we want to make sure that we don't have any impact on these species that we don't want to catch. These kids, they listen, you know. Um, when, I, when I ask the kids uh, who, who here has ever gone fishing, all right, five. Cool, that's, uh, that's more than in most classes. A couple of hands come up, you know, a couple of three hands in every class, and I think it's, it's really not enough, you know. The way that the kids' eyes light up sometimes when I tell them the story, it's pretty great. Um, they take some of what I say home with them. <laughs> 